sound. Every day we hear sounds from various sources like humans, birds, bells, machines, vehicles, television, radio, etc. Sound is a form of energy which produces a sensation of hearing in our ears. Production of Sound Take a tuning fork and set it vibrating by striking its prong on a rubber pad. Bring it near your ear. Do you hear any sound? Touch one of the prongs of the vibrating tuning fork with your fingers and share your experience with your friends. Now, suspend a table tennis ball or a small plastic ball by a thread from a support. Take a big needle and a thread. Put a knot at one end of the thread and then, with the help of the needle, pass the thread through the ball. Touch the ball gently with the prong of a vibrating tuning fork. In the above activities, we have produced sound by striking the tuning fork. We can also produce sound by plucking, scratching, rubbing, blowing or shaking different objects. Vibration means a kind of rapid to and fro motion of an object. Can sound make a light spot dance? Take a tin can. Remove both ends to make it a hollow cylinder. Take a balloon and stretch it over the can. Then, wrap a rubber band around the balloon. Take a small piece of mirror. Use a drop of glue to stick the piece of mirror to the balloon. Allow the light through a slit to fall on the mirror. After reflection, the light spot is seen on the wall as shown. Talk or shout directly into the open end of the can and observe the dancing light spot on the wall. The medium travels through the medium and not the particles of the medium. A wave is a disturbance that moves through a medium when the particles of the medium set neighboring particles into motion. Then, in turn, produce similar motion in others. The particles of the medium do not move forward themselves, but the distance is carried forward. This is what happens during propagation of sound in a medium. Hence, sound can be characterized by the motion of particles in the medium and are called mechanical waves. Sound needs a medium to travel. Take an electric bell and an airtight glass bell jar. The electric bell is suspended inside the airtight bell jar. The bell jar is connected to a vacuum pump, as shown in figure. If you press the switch, you will be able to hear the bell. Now, start the vacuum pump. When the air in the jar is pumped out gradually, the sound becomes fainter, although the same current is passing through the bell. After some time, when less air is left inside the bell jar, you will hear a very feeble sound. What will happen if the air is removed completely? We cannot hear any sound, proving that sound does not travel in a vacuum. Sound waves are longitudinal waves. Progressive waves proceed in the medium without being reflected back at any point in their path. The two types of progressive waves are longitudinal and transverse waves. In the case of longitudinal wave, the direction of vibration of the particles of the medium is parallel to the direction of propagation of the wave as shown in the figure. Whereas, in the case of transverse wave, the direction of vibration of the particles of the medium is perpendicular to the direction of the propagation of the wave. Example A sound wave has a frequency of 2 kHz and wavelength 35 centimeters. How long will it take to travel 1.5 kilometers? Solution Given frequency V is equal to 2 khz is equal to 2000 hertz. Wavelength lambda is equal to 35 centimeters is equal to 0.35 meters. We know that speed V of the wave is equal to wavelength into frequency. V is equal to lambda V is equal to 0.35 m 2000 hertz is equal to 700 m by s. The time taken by the wave to travel a distance d of 1.5 kilometers is t is equal to d by v is equal to 1.5 
into 1000 m divided by 700 m s to the power of minus 1 is equal to 15 by 7 seconds is equal to 2.1 seconds. Thus, sound will take 2.1 seconds to travel a distance of 1.5 kilometers. Echo Echoes may be heard more than once due to successive or multiple reflections. The rolling of thunder is due to the successive reflections of the sound from a number of reflecting surfaces such as the clouds and the land. Reverberation A sound created in a big hall will persist by repeated reflection from the walls until it is reduced to a value where it is no longer audible. The repeated reflection that results in this persistence of sound is called reverberation. A sound created in a big hall will persist by repeated reflection from the wall until it is reduced to a value where it is no longer audible. The repeated reflection that results in this persistence of sound is called reverberation. In an auditorium or big hall, excessive reverberation is highly undesirable. To reduce reverberation, the roof and walls of the auditorium are generally covered with sound absorbent materials like compressed fireboard, rough plaster or draperies. The seat materials are also selected on the basis of their sound absorbing properties. Uses of multiple reflection of sound Megaphones or loud hailers, horns, musical instruments such as trumpets and shehnais are all designed to send sound in a particular direction N without spreading it in all directions as shown in figure. In these instruments, a tube followed by a conical opening reflects sound successively to guide most of the sound waves from the source in the forward direction towards the audience. Stethoscope is a medical instrument used for listening to sounds produced within the body, chiefly in the heart or lungs. In stethoscopes, the sound of the patient's heartbeat reaches the doctor's ears by multiple reflection of sound. Uses of multiple reflection of sound Generally, the ceilings of concert halls, conference halls and cinema halls are curved so that sound after reflection reaches all corners of the hall as shown. Sometimes a curved soundboard may be placed behind the stage so that the sound after reflecting from the soundboard spreads evenly across the width of the hall. Range of Hearing Audible and Inaudible Sounds The fact is that sound of frequencies less than about 20 vibrations per second, that is 20 hertz, cannot be detected by the human ear. Such sounds are called inaudible. On the higher side, Sounds of frequencies higher than about 20,000 vibrations per second, that is, 20 kilohertz, are also not audible to the human ear. Thus, for human ear, the range of audible frequencies is roughly from 20 to 20,000 hertz. Some animals can hear sounds of frequencies higher than 20,000 hertz. Dogs have this ability. The police use high-frequency whistles which dogs can hear but humans can't. The ultrasound equipment, familiar to us for investigating and tracking many medical problems, work at frequencies higher than 20,000 Hz. Applications of Ultrasound Ultrasounds are high-frequency waves. Ultrasounds are able to travel along well-defined paths, even in the presence of obstacles. Ultrasounds are used extensively. Ultrasound is generally used to clean parts located in hard-to-reach places, for example, spiral tube, or shaped parts, electronic components, etc. Ultrasounds can be used to detect cracks and flaws in metal blocks. Ultrasonography Ultrasound scanner is an instrument which uses ultrasonic waves for getting images of internal organs of the human body. It helps the doctor to detect abnormalities, such as stones in the gallbladder and kidney or tumours in different organs. 
In this technique, the ultrasonic waves travel through the tissues of the body and get reflected from a region where there is a change of tissue density. These waves are then converted into electrical signals that are used to generate images, then displayed on a monitor or printed on a film. This technique is called ultrasonography. Sonar The acronym SONAR stands for Sound, Navigation and Ranging. Sonar is a device that uses ultrasonic waves to measure the distance, direction and speed of underwater objects. Sonar consists of a transmitter and a detector and is installed in a boat or a ship. The transmitter produces and transmits ultrasonic waves. These waves travel through water and after striking the object on the seabed, get reflected back and are sensed by the detector. The detector converts the ultrasonic waves into electrical signals which are appropriately interpreted. The distance of the object that reflected the sound wave can be calculated by knowing the speed of sound in water and the time interval between transmission and reception of the ultrasound. Emission of ultrasound Bats search out prey and fly in dark night by emitting and detecting reflections of ultrasonic waves. The high-pitched squeaks of the bat are reflected from the obstacles or prey and returned to bat's ear, as shown in the figure. The nature of reflection tells the bat where the obstacle or prey is and what it is like. Porpoises also use ultrasound for navigation and location of food in the dark. Structure of human ear We hear sound through our ears. The shape of the outer part of the ear is like a funnel. When sound enters it, it travels down a canal, at the end of which a thin membrane is stretched tightly. It is called the eardrum. It performs an important function. The eardrum is like a stretched rubber sheet. Sound vibration makes the eardrum vibrate. The eardrum sends vibrations to the inner ear. From there, the signal goes to the brain. That is how we hear.